This one's going to be on Tmux's mouse mode that I can enable. It's not enabled by default, but uh, if you turn it on, let me turn it on here. Um, you can actually use your mouse to navigate. So you see I have like four panes here. If I want to go to this pane, just click on it uh, without using your keyboard or anything. Even at the bottom here, you have um, different Windows tabs that you have here. And you can click on them, and it goes to, uh, you know, those ones here. Um, another thing is you can actually just drag your dividers here and resize uh, the pane that you want, right? Pretty easy there. Uh, there's one thing that I think people hate with this one. Let me open this again here. Is that when uh, you're trying to select some text or whatever, they use the built-in Tmux, uh, what's that, copy mode, right? And not a lot of people like that because uh, it copies it to, what was that, the Tmux paste buffer, that's for one reason. And another one is that it doesn't doesn't fit well uh, when you're using it. So I'll show you what it looks like here. So let's say you want to copy a block of text here, right? You just um, select it. And you see now it has this yellow shit. And, and uh, when you let it go, it copies it to, uh, what is that, the Tmux paste buffer. Some people don't like that and they want to use the regular um, terminal um, selecting mode that you normally used to. Because right now you see that's yellow, right? If you want to temporarily bypass that and use uh, your regular terminals uh, selecting, you can do that by doing uh, holding shift. You hold shift and you see that now you have the white one and that's how you can copy it, right? You can copy it that way. Now the thing with this one is that um, you can see if you have different panes here, it goes on to the, this other pane too, which is kind of annoying. This is stop at the uh, what is that? The um, pane divider here, right? So one way to you know bypass that is just uh, to maximize, or they call it the uh, Mux zoom. You can zoom into this pane here, and then you can hold Shift and then copy uh, whatever you need to copy, and then after that you can unzoom it um, you know doing that another way to do this because you have uh, different panes here and you want to you know stop at that pane only not go to on to the other ones now this one doesn't always work with uh, um, you know different uh, terminals it doesn't always have this option but let's say for example if I want to copy just uh, you know text in this pane only you can hold Instead of just holding shift, you actually have to hold shift and control. So control, shift, and then your mouse. And this will allow you to do uh, a block selection, right? And then you can copy from there that way. Uh, and that's how you would prevent it from going on to the next pane. Now that one doesn't work with all the other terminals. Um, only the ones I'm using right now, which is Quake here. So that's that. And... Or... Or you can actually disable the mouse mode. So right now we have it on, but if you just hit your prefix and capital M, you see that the mouse is off here at the bottom. Right, so you can actually toggle it on and off real quick. So the mouse is on, uh, mouse is off, right. And I'll show you the uh, settings for that here, or your configurations here. So real simple is that, let me turn it off here. You know, using bind key M, and this one will turn it on. So you hit your prefix and M to turn it on, and prefix and uh, shift M to turn it off. Pretty easy as that. Now, when you have it off, um, I think it depends on which terminal you're using, too. You can still use uh, block selection that we did before. What is that? Right, you can still use the block selection, because right now, if you, do, you have no mouse mode enabled, you know, when you're selecting this, it still goes on to the next pane. Um, but you still want to use the block. Uh, you can always hold control. And you can still use that. Not shift control, it's just normal control only. And your mouse. And you can use the block selection. Again, I don't think that works with all the terminals out there. But I'm using Quake. So that's it for that. Well, that's all I got for now for um, the, the mouse mode. Maybe next time I'll talk about copy mode, which is a little different here. Um, so that's it for all you Tmux users. If you want to use your mouse, go ahead and use it. I personally don't use the mouse, but um, just uh, you know, gave it a try, see if I like it. Then it's okay, but I prefer the you know the keyboard way. That'd be it for this one.